and we are live ladies and gentlemen how we doing out there in the world oh my goodness big day big day in track and field an attempt at the 5,000 meter world record for the women and 10,000 meters for the men okay so i'm actually looking at the screen right now and i'm gonna put up on the screen sadly so go to the uh national netherlands running team youtube channel uh you can link to it in in the chat and hold on let me just uh because i cannot show you the screen because of copyright okay i don't mess with copyright just so you know so i am going to put this message on the screen right now this is a watch party all right uh but you can it's it's streaming live right now for free on youtube okay so there the women are towing the line right now good to see everybody let us know where you are watching from around the world in the chat so good to see antoinetta is here again you're always here thank you so much oh my goodness liam is here butter my bread you better believe it so hold on let me pull up the audio on the women's okay hold on hold on muted real quick okay there it is so very exciting this is Valencia, Spain. Oh my goodness. Okay, so I'm watching the women's race right now. And then the Joshua Cheptegei 10,000 meter world record attempt is going down in about 20 to 25 minutes. Um, so good to see everyone. Okay, let's get a couple more comments up on the screen. Peter's always here. Always here. Thank you, Peter. Mm -hmm. I'm going to do my best, Landon. I'm going to do my best. There they are. I, you know, I'm obviously not quite as familiar uh, with the athletes in the 5,000 meters, but there it is on screen. So you can watch this live um, on YouTube on the N. Just type in, you know, NN running team world record and it'll pop up on YouTube. Um, so good. Or National Nederland um, YouTube channel. So Oh my goodness. Hello, James in the house. As always, good to see everyone. Stefan is here. Miles is here. Bay Area in the house. Good to see you, Chris. Oh my goodness. It's 1.01 a.m. in India. That's what I'm talking about. Commitment to the cause. That's what I'm talking about. Okay, let me go to the bottom here. Um... So, yes, they are going for a women's world record as well, Tyler. Um, so, oh my goodness, G Giddy, it's spelled, actually, let me put it up, uh, see if I can find, it's G-I-D-E-Y, G-I-D-E-Y. She is going after uh, Debaba's 5,000 meter world record from 2008, okay? G-I, and got Giddy, I'm sorry, if I, Giddy goes for 5,000 record as well well so it's gonna be exciting and i'm just oh, good to see everyone missouri checking in samuel's here always good to see you sir um and of course ask me questions okay as we roll along here i'm watching live on my big screen okay and then i'm sure you're going to be watching live as well from your screens your phone and at the same time we can hang out and just answer questions whatever you want to ask me about uh, world record attempts shoes um, you know, I believe Chepta guy is going to be wearing the dragonflies, if I'm not mistaken. If uh, anybody has some insider information, let me know in the chat. Oh, yeah. So good to see everyone. Greetings from Turkey. Love it. Love it. Love it. Matt G is watching from Birmingham. Awesome. Uh, the Pyrenees, Gerard. Very cool. Oh, can't wait to come run in the Pyrenees. You better believe it. So, Okay. I've heard the weather is pretty good in Valencia, but, you know, probably a little bit on the warmer side compared to some other world record attempts, for sure. Uh, you know, I was doing a little research before the race, and the temperatures are fine, the humidity levels are fine, but not. it's not going to be in the 50s, I'll just put it that way, when Bekele set the 10K record in Brussels, okay? The 10,000 10, meters, I should say, in Brussels. Brussels. Okay, and actually, if somebody lives in Valencia and is watching right now, or lives in that region of Spain, let us know. Let us know what's going on as far as the weather is concerned. Okay, Asheville, North Carolina is here. Thank you, Ethan. Okay, boom, there they go. Women are off. They are off. They are off. Okay, 
Debaba's 2008 world record is 1411 from Oslo in 2008, Oslo, Norway. Debaba of Ethiopia. That's a long that's a long world record, 2008. We're looking at, you know, 12 years, just like the 10,000 meters. Okay, and there's a pacer out front. Pace number 1 running in the New Balance singlet. So, very good. This lighting is interesting. Oh, this lighting, I think, is part of the pacing plan. Okay, that's very interesting. Are you guys seeing this? This green and blue lights on the track? That is, I think it's connected to the pacing, I do believe. Um, wow, very cool. Greetings from great weather in London today. Nice, very good. And Dallas, Texas is in the house. Timothy, shout out to Timothy. So, Slovenia's here. Awesome, awesome. Saudi Arabia, wow. Thank you, Hassan, for tuning in from Saudi Arabia. Absolutely amazing. We're global here. We are global. Um, so, let's see some predictions in the comments. What are you thinking is going to happen in this women's 5,000 meter world record attempt and then we'll talk about chepta guy here in a here in a little bit but we're watching the ladies first so they are cruising they are cruising the pace the pace uh the pacer smiling up front that's funny that is funny hello from tucson arizona okay danny's here thank you danny for tuning in okay all right man so many comments I, there's no way i can read them all when are you coming um, so Tom, it's just the NN, okay, it's the National Netherland, uh, YouTube running channel. Gosh, I'll try and link to it, actually. Hold on, hold on. I, I believe it's there. Okay, see it in the chat there. See if you can't, see if you can't click on that link. I'll send it out again. I believe that, uh, hold on there. So, 1408, Tristan is saying for the prediction. Okay, so that's, that would break the world record. Ivan is going 1409. Oh my goodness. Hello, Peter from Vermont. Good to see you, Peter. And of course, you can ask me. Um, so 1411, Damien. 1411 is the current world record. Okay, so let's see. Let's see. Mm hmm. Oh my goodness. Good to see you. Paul is here. Hello from Nottingham. And, uh, okay, so they're off, let's see, through two laps, 251, no, 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 sorry, three, sorry, 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 what, through 1K, okay, so three seconds, oh boy, looks like three seconds outside world record pace. Interesting, okay, sorry, I'm trying to listen as well, manage comments, bear with me, bear with me um okay brandon is here hello from the netherlands awesome matthias good to see you okay gerard is going with a 1407 okay peter's asking how's it going you old shoe goblin yes a little bit of a shoe goblin here in the studio peter you better believe it i am doing well peter i'm on a break life is good you know the body's feeling pretty good the legs let me just do a little test here the legs are coming around they're coming around they're gonna need some time though but this is day three of resting for me peter so i'm very excited just to chill out and let the body reset in a big big way uh-huh you better believe it okay so here's a couple predictions from mr uh shaco very good Okay, thanks for the predictions. Um, Damien's in the house. So, how was your run today? Okay, I'm on a break. I'm on a running break, but let us know how was your run today as well in the chat. We'll get some of that up on the screen. So, whoa, Nico. Nico is throwing down a prediction for, for Joshua. Oh, man. Oh, man. So good. Okay. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. Um... Tyler's asking, what are my 5K and 10K PRs? That's a good question, Tyler. So 1446 for the 5K and then 30 minutes and 10 seconds for the 10K, which, um, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm pleased with both. They were both set in college, but the 5K was my sophomore year of college, the 1446 at Hayward Field in Eugene, Oregon, and then I was injured the rest of college. I didn't run any other track seasons because of injuries it was very very difficult 
So I think that 1446 could, you know, still be dropped maybe at some point. And then the 10K was on a cross-country course at elevation. So the 30 minutes, 10 seconds. So I know I can run faster at the 10K. So that's one of my goals for 2021. I was going to make an attempt at both of them in uh, 2020, but, you know, all the races were canceled. So good question, Tyler. I appreciate you chiming in here. Uh-huh. Brendan's in the house. I'm doing well. Doing well. Uh, let's see. Southwest of Ireland. Thank you, Dave, for tuning in. And okay, okay. Hello, hello. So many great comments. Hello from Greece. Oh, my goodness. No world record going with 1415. I better tune in here to the pace. Hold on. I'm just listening a little bit. Okay, it sounds like they're right on world record pace at the moment. So, those lights are wild. Frankly, I'm not sure I've ever seen that before on a track. Um, okay, trying to find some questions. And if you do ask a question in the chat, make sure you put some question marks at the end or multiple question marks. That helps me identify them because there are just so, so many comments. Um, okay. 2022, Seth, what 100 miler are you going to do? Matthew, I don't know, man. That might be a little soon, actually. I'm leaning closer to 2009, or sorry, um, I'm leaning closer to the 39 age range. So that would be four years from now, four years from now. I still got some speed in the legs, so I want to use it while I have it, Matthew. But good question. Oh, my goodness. That's a good question. Can anybody identify the spikes that she is wearing? I am, um, man, it's always tough. I mean, I'm guessing it's the dragonflies, right? Whew, they are moving. So I, I, <laughs> I would be getting dropped right now. I would be getting dropped in a big, big way. That's just, it's just amazing. So smooth. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. They are moving. Um... Brandon asked, does the break mean longer for the marathon shoe ma <clears throat> excuse me, ma matrix? Brandon, so today the Hoka Rocket X published. Many of you saw that. And uh, so that, that was the last shoe. No other carbon fiber plate shoes have showed up at the house. Um, even if one did, I, it's too late. It's too late. Uh, but as you know, like the Skechers Razor Elite showed up. The Hoka uh, Rocket X showed up in the last like two weeks. So I tested both of those and they are going to slide last second into the marathon shoe matrix. Um, so I'm done. So that's good. So testing is done and oh, it looks like she, woo, very interesting. Okay. She's passing the pacer. Hold on. Pace two is dropping off. She is solo now. Okay. 831. 831, 831 pace, or 831 through 3,000 meters. Oh, no. Is that right? Oh, my goodness. So 249 for the last kilometer. 249. Wow. That is impressive. Ooh, I got to say, though, just observing, her face looks a little uh, tight. So whenever I'm watching runners and analyzing them, um, I'm always looking at the jawline. I'm looking at their eyes. Are they looking up? Are they looking down? Joshua Cheptegei's 5,000 meter world record in, um, oh, where was it? Where was it? In Monaco in August, he, he was looking up for a lot of the race. He wasn't looking down. And um, so I'm, I'm just kind of, noticing that she is looking down but she's looks very strong very fast this these are the hard laps right now before the the real kick starts wow okay wow 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 3400 meters so 1600 four laps to go four laps to go Wow, 
Wow. She's given herself a great chance as the commentators are saying, okay. Oh man. Okay. Good to see everyone. How you doing? Um, I would love to come Valencia's marathon someday, Jose. Okay. That's true. That's true. Eyes could be looking for the lights. That's a good, good point. Thank you for being here. She is on fire. She is moving. Man, she is moving. You better believe it. It's a good point. It's a good point. Okay. Let's see. Yes, on pace. Yes, on pace. Definitely on pace. Go, Giddy. Okay. 3,800 meters in 1045. 3,800 meters in 1045. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. Okay, okay. So, the Joshua Chepta guys world record attempt is after the ladies' 5,000 meters. Thanks for being here. Thanks for checking out the channel. Appreciate it. Um, okay. I'll get to some questions here in a minute. We just gotta we gotta soak up this moment right now. Okay, wow. She is flying. 247 for the last kilometer. She is flying. Oh my goodness. You know, there are some fans around the track, just a few, not a ton, but a few. Everybody's wearing a mask. Oh my goodness, she, it looks hard, I gotta say, but can she do it? 800 meters to go, two laps to go, two laps to go. Okay. If she keeps this pace, she gets it. Go, go, go. Go, go, go. Oh, my goodness. Oh, this is the pain cave right here. This is when the burn, the lactic acid, wants to defeat you. It's like that mental focus, all about pumping the arms, all about focusing on form when it hurts so, so bad. Oh, man. I was, I'll get to questions here in a minute. I just got to soak this up. Okay. About 500 meters to go, and she's at... 1244. 1244. Okay, she's coming down. Bell lap coming up. Here we go. Bell lap, bell lap. Oh my, my. She's moving now. 400 meters to go in 1259. 1259. 400 meters to go. Oh man. She is flying. 67 for the last lap. 67 seconds for the last lap. Okay. Oh, man. Oh, she's flying. She's flying. 12-year-old world record. 12 years old. That's a long time from Debaba. Okay, she glances up. She's on the back stretch, turning the corner. 200 meters to go. Oh, yeah, she's got this. She's got this. She's going to get it. Kick, kick, kick. Almost 100 meters to go. Not quite. Oslo in 2008 was Dababa's world record. 5,000 meters. Oh, my goodness. She's going to destroy it. She's going to destroy it. Oh, my goodness. 14, second, 14 minutes flat. 14 minutes flat. Go, 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 go. 14.06. 14.06. 14.06. She smashed it. Oh my goodness. Wow. Wow. 14.06. Stealing the, the world record was 14.11. Now it's, that's it. Five seconds. Oh my goodness. 14.06, everybody. 14.06. Wow. From Ethiopia. Good day. Uh, Latesenbet Gede of Ethiopia. Wow. Okay. That was amazing. So exciting. Oh my goodness. Oh, goosebumps is right. Goosebumps is right. Oh my, my. Holy smokes. Wow. Unbelievable. She did it very quick. 
Oh, my Renee says, congrats. You better believe it's quick. You better believe it's quick, Scott. Oh, my. Wow. She was, she looked so strong the last 600 meters. Like, jeez. I mean, that was, <laughs> I mean, five seconds, I don't know. It's not 50 meters, but it's a lot. That's, that's breaking a world record by a lot. Oh, my goodness. Very true, Nico. Wow. Yes, Paul. Yes. Good comments. Um, so good. So good. J.H. Lee, incredible power. Yeah, she just looks, She. I mean, she. her face to me looked a little tight with, you know, about a mile to go, just like grimacing a little bit. Um, but man, she turned it on at the end. She turned it on. Thanks all the comments. Yes, the last 2K solo, that is a good point. A very good point. Dave says, incredible. Okay, here's a little replay coming down the stretch. Oh, yeah, she was hurting. I'm looking at her face. She was hurting. She was definitely hurting, that's for sure. Oh, my goodness. So good. 14.06. Wow. So that is 40 seconds faster than my PR. So, I mean, that just, like... It's just impressive. It's just impressive is the bottom line. Um, so, good to see everyone. Mm-hmm. Let's see, let's see. Just amazing, says James. Just amazing. Oh, man. Yes, yes, yes. Okay, I'm just reading your comments. So many great comments. Yep, Daniel. OMG is correct, Daniel. Thanks for being here. Oh, man. She crushed it. So... Next up, here in about um, soon, very soon, will be the 10,000 meters on the men's side. She's taking a victory lap. Um, wow, that's a good sign for Joshua, I guess. So I'm going to mute that for a second and just answer your question. So now, in between these races, let's just I'm going to focus on all of you, all right? What questions do you have for me about anything? Okay, and yes, this is a watch party. I can't, um, I can't live stream it and show it to you uh, because of copyright. You know, I don't mess with copyright. So just go to, so it's, it's being live streamed right now for free on YouTube. So just, you know, type into YouTube um, and, you know, you can pull up two windows if you want and watch this live stream, watch that one, or maybe pull one up on your phone. And uh, so just type in uh, Joshua 10,000 meter world record or something like that, and it'll pop up. Um, it's on the NN Nash, the National Netherlands Running Team uh, YouTube channel being live streamed. So, okay, here we go. All right. So, yeah, what questions do you have for me? Jammin is asking a video on spikes. Yeah, man, I've got a, I've got a pile. And yes, uh, Jammin Fraser, I'm gonna be working more on speed as I lead into my next half marathon. Okay, or sorry, my. As I lead into a half marathon, oh, here's a little video on Joshua. Hold on, I'm going to listen to this. Hold on, I'm just going to listen real quick. So, I'm going to be doing more speed work moving forward, basically. Wow. Amazing, amazing. So, stay tuned for some spike discussions sooner rather than later. Um... Jacob's asking, what shoes would you recommend for daily tra trail running around 10K? Uh, daily trail running, gosh, I mean, I love, hold on, let me mute that. Sorry about that. I love the, um, gosh, you know, even recently, the New Balance uh, Fresh Foam More TR. But, you know, the old Nike Pegasus 36 Trail, I love uh, let's see, the Saucony Mad River TR is another one that I love for just daily training on the trails. I actually, but um, yeah, Saucony Mad River TR. So those are a couple, Jacob, for you to uh, look at. Okay, let me just make sure I didn't miss any super chats either. Okay, um, <laughs> that would be awesome. Uh, let's see, Josiah Scott is asking, what were my injuries in college and what are your tips on healing ankles? So I had a lot of stress fractures and also plantar fasciitis, unfortunately. So that was those were two though they were difficult. But um, healing ankles, I'm not sure what injury you have with your ankles, but I'm a big fan of the 
the stability disk that I've done. So if you type in prehab vlog into the homepage of this YouTube channel, prehab, P-R-E-H-A-B, I run, it's like an hour long video where I run through all of my prehab work in order to stay healthy. Good question there. Um, oh yeah, good qu Yes, the Wild Horse 6, that's another trail shoe I would put into the mix. Love the Wild Horse 6. Thank you, Google bought me uh, for the reminder on the Wild Horse 6. Uh, you know, upside down travel, I am more of a classic rock kind of guy. You know, some Neil Young, some, uh, you know, Grateful Dead. Um, I like newer stuff as well, like Mumford and Sons, but um, yeah, I'm probably more in the old oh boy. Okay, pause, pause. <laughs> we got to focus here. The men are on the line, everybody. Here we go. Oh my goodness. Joshua Chepta, guys. 10,000 meter world record attempt. Here we go. Okay, let me just turn this camera off. Hold on. This is, uh, you better believe I'm filming for the vlog as well. Okay, that battery is flashing. Whoops. Okay, so here they are on the line. Joshua is in his orange... Uh, tight uh half tights i should say and a white singlet there's the pacers two and three two three four and five. Oh my goodness here we go and again everybody this is being live streamed on youtube just so you know just type it into youtube it'll pop up i've got my big screen right here so that's what i am doing oh my goodness wow so his personal best is um 26, I believe it was 2648 there on the screen. So, my, sorry, I'm just I'm just soaking this in, soaking this in with all of you as well. Okay, breathe it, breathe through this, everybody. It's gonna be big. It's gonna be big. Oh man. Oh yeah. And of course, give your predictions in the comments right now. What's he gonna run? What's it? What's his finishing time? Is he gonna break the world record? I mean, there's no guarantees in this world, right? We're all mortal, as we saw uh, saw on Sunday for the London Marathon uh, with Kipchoge. You know, it's like we're all mortal. It's, you know, this is very, very difficult. A world record, so the current 10,000-meter uh, world record uh, by Bekele has stood for 15 years, since 2005, okay? So there's a reason it's stood for 15 years, because it's ridiculously fast, okay? So anyway, uh, let's hear your predictions in the comments. Yes, indeed. Oh, man. I'm just trying to pull up the comments here. Okay, Gerard, 2614. Okay, they're on the line. Ready? Go. Boom. And they're off. Joshua Cheptegei off and racing. Pacers out front and then everybody else behind them. <laughs> oh, my. Here we go. The lights are on the track. Oh, my goodness. Um, I believe, correct me if I'm wrong, but I believe it's the same pacers from the 5,000 meter world record in August. So six weeks ago. All right. I believe I read that the same pacers from the 5,000 meter. Uh, you better believe Landon, you better believe he's going to post it on Strava. So for those that don't know, Joshua Cheptegei, uh, posted his 5,000 meter world record, on Strava. It's like, it's, I just love that. I love it. Okay. I did see a super chat coming in. Thank you, Luke. He's saying thoughts on the Atreyu artist for first time marathon. Luke, I'll get to that in a second. We got to focus on the race though for a second here. 63 seconds, 63 seconds through the first lap, 63 seconds. Wow. Now, 24 laps around the track. Wow, I'm just listening a little bit for a little information, a little intel. And the, the conditions, you know, I'd say are probably not quite as ideal as in Brussels when Bekele, I believe in Brussels, again, the temperatures were in the 50s. Um, so I don't, um, I haven't heard officially what the temperatures are right now. If somebody knows, post it in the comments. Wow, this is unbelievable. So Luke, I would say, um, I would say yes. I would say the Atreyu artist. Now the durability is not going to be very high. Um, 
But as far as a first-time marathon, if you want to save some money, $100, you can't beat it. So, Luke, yes, thank you for the super chat. I'd say they are a good option for a first-time marathon. All right, moving on here. Okay, 2604. Jared's going with 2616 on the screen. 2604 from Acentra. Wow. Oh, my goodness. Mm -mm -mm. So good. So good. I know. One lap at 63 is fast. You are correct. Okay, let's see what their K is. This is so cool. So cool. Okay. They are definitely on pace. Definitely on pace so far. It's early. Oh my goodness. Okay, he's they're looking smooth. You know, it's early, but they're looking smooth. And I just wonder what's going through his mind. Obviously, a lot of confidence with respect to, you know, I just set the 5,000 meter world record. You know, that's a great confidence booster. Um, and I understand that Joshua Cheptegei had to quarantine upon arriving back in Uganda after setting the world record uh, in mid-August of this year. He had to quarantine because of the coronavirus. He didn't get the coronavirus, but he had to, he had to quarantine. So it was actually an, his coach said that it was an opportunity for him to rest and to because he wasn't able to train um, at quite as high a level during that quarantine time. And his coach said, you know, it's probably worked out for the better because it allowed him to kind of reset and rest before prepping for this race. So I found that to be interesting. Um, I read that this morning as I was kind of prepping for today's live stream of the 10,000 meter world record. Oh man, they are cruising. They are cruising 21 laps to go. 62.9 for the last lap right on pace right on pace man and he was born in 1996 for those that don't know so i think he so 24 25 um i believe his birthday is in september i believe it's this i think he may have just had a birthday if anybody can look up joshua chepta guy's birthday i'd appreciate it but i do know he was born in 1990 six um so good to see everyone um yes um stefano correct you are correct green this is fascinating this is fascinating okay let me set my camera down hold on So, I'm sure you're listening to this as well. He has to run a huge personal best in order to set this world record, okay? He's fast, of course, but he's entering a little bit into uncharted uh, territories, just so everybody knows. Um, but he, he continues. So, again, based on the research I've done, his training has been at an incredible level. We're talking 140 miles a week, if not higher at times. 140 miles is a lot, especially since he's not even prepping for a marathon or a half marathon. Um, he's been running at a high, high level in 2020. And, you know, with the pandemic and not a lot of races happening this past summer, like the Diamond League, it, with less racing, it allows you to focus a little bit more on training. So who knows? This could be the perfect storm for him with respect to his personal fitness being just at an incredibly high level right now. But 140 miles a week is a lot. I've dabbled in 130 uh, before, 130 miles a week, and it's hard. It's just really hard. Like you're basically running, eating, and sleeping um, because your body is just so tired. Um, super chat coming in from David. Um, David is saying, 
I just want to say the slant board has made a big difference in my plantar fasciitis pain. Everyone should own one. Thank you, Seth. David, you're amazing. For those that don't know, slant board. I think I need to make a t-shirt. Let me know in the comments. What do you think? Do you even slant board? Question mark. I think I need to make a t-shirt, David. Thanks for letting me know. All right. Back to the race. Here we go. So two pacers ahead of Chip to Guy now. Man. And the, the first, this pacemaker in the lead right now, he's, he's tall, so he can break, he can break the, uh, the breeze for Chepta guy. They're right on pace, right on pace, everybody. Okay, Jonah is saying September 12th, 1996. So he just had his birthday. So that, does that mean he's 25 now? Uh, yes, I do believe. So Jonah, thank you for the research. We're all in this together. Is it really that warm? Oh my goodness, is it? Oh, if somebody could confirm that. That would be amazing. That sounds really warm. Whoo. Okay. Thank you, Landon, again for confirming. September 12th. Oh, so he just turned, yeah, 1996. Just turned 24. Sorry. I'm trying to. Mm. Okay. Yes, there are, Benjamin. I'll have to get to those at some point um, in a vlog. Good, good question. <laughs> yes, that pacer suffers so much. You are, you are correct. It's like, oh. He looks like he's suffering, frankly. The the pacer in the... Okay, there he goes. He's peeling off. He's peeling off. Okay, 24, 24. Thank you, Cameron. Okay, 3,200 meters in 824. 3,200 meters. Oh, in 824. That sounds very, very painful. 3,200 meters, 824. Wow. Oh, man. Yes, yes, yes. So good. So good. Good to see everybody. 0.5 seconds under world record, says Robin. They're right on. But I, if that temperature, again, that um, temperature is very, very warm. Very warm. Tommy, uh, thanks for being here, Tommy. So I was talking about this earlier in the live stream. Tommy, 30 minutes and 10 seconds is my PR on a cross-country course at elevation. So I know I can go faster. So we got to keep working together, everybody. Keep working together. Um, wow. I don't know. I do not. Everyone keeps saying it's in the mid eighties. I don't like that at all. That, uh, that makes things a lot more difficult. I, in my opinion, just my opinion, but 62.4 for the last lap, just what he needs. So he's, he's hitting the pace. Okay. A little bit, of, a little bit of space happening between the pacemaker and Joshua, just a little bit. It's fine. But, because he's got the lights, right? He's got the lights on the track. But, um, there he goes. It just was a smidge of a smidge of a space. Come on, keep keep it rolling, keep it rolling, keep it rolling. Sorry, I I should know this. Um, I don't have it up on my screen because I'm trying to manage everything. Who is? Does anybody? Could somebody post the name of Pace Three in the chat? Uh, the Pace Three. I had a list, but um, anyway, I'm just somebody could post the name because he's flying too. Let's just be honest. Okay, wow, this is so cool. Um, yes, Alex, I believe it was pretty warm for his 5K as well. But I gotta say, you know, double the double the distance, double the double the pain. Um, Yeah, that's a good point. If he goes through, as you probably heard on the on the commentary, if he goes through in 1305, that's still you know on pace, and then he can say to himself mentally, "I've run you know 30 seconds faster than this uh, a mere six week you know roughly six weeks ago." So, oh 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 the pain oh the pain, okay. Thank you all, everyone, for doing the uh, the research for me as I'm trying to uh, manage everything here. Um, that is a very good, Adrian. I, I like your observation there. Pacer 3 is sponsored by Adidas, not Nike. I like your observation there. I didn't even notice that. So I like that. You know, it's like there's competition in the running shoe marketplace, but there's also 
let's go battle together and chase down goals. So I like that. You know, we're all battling together. You know, it's it's good competition. So I like good good point. Good good point. Nicholas uh, Kip Career. Nicholas Kip Career, perhaps. Thank you, Colin. I'll see if some others. There we go. Kip Career. So there we go. Thank you all for confirming that. Um, and the American also. I don't know where he's at in the race because the camera's focused just on Joshua, but um, is also trying to chase down a sub 27. Okay, here they come. Let me just watch here. Okay, they're, I mean, they're right on, right on. I'm just kind of soaking in his stride right now, everyone. Soaking in his stride. So 4,800 meters, almost to 5K, almost to uh, the halfway point, everyone. Almost to halfway. Okay, where, are, where is he going to be? Where is he going to be? There goes pace three. There goes pace three. Kip career. 1307. 1307. Okay. 1307. Halfway. 1307. Oh, baby. I mean, they're right on. They're right on. It's just a matter of can he maintain can he maintain here we go oh my goodness 1307 good to see everyone here oh man everyone okay the pacer is done the pacer is done oh man now it's now it's between the ears right everybody now it's between the ears oh man thanks for being here thanks for watching everyone I'm, this is a watch party, okay? I wish I could live stream it, but I can't. Pacer is out. Okay. He's on his own. That is right. This is where... This is where you dig deep. This is where you dig deep. Come on. Come on. Mm. I guess it's him in the lights, right? I guess it's him in the lights. Um, He still has lights for company. That's right. Okay. So good. So good. Mm. who has let us know in the chat who has raced a 10,000 meters on the track it's very it's i have once sadly only once um oh it was bad i blew up i went out a little it was like it was in waco texas it was very hot the humidity got me. People were ending up in the hospital after the race. It was really bad. But let us know in the chat who has raised a 10,000 meters on the track. Very interesting type of race up here between the brains. It's just a lot of laps. Just a lot of laps going around and going around. Um, he looks good. Looks good. Joshua versus the lice. <laughs> That's right. Um, Travis, no. I He cannot rejoin, Travis. He cannot rejoin. He is done. Once you step off, you're done. Uh, how hard is it to get your body to run in track spikes? Brett, it's an adaptation period. Absolutely an adaptation period. Your feet have to adapt. Um... Oh, interesting. Okay, so maybe he's picking it up a little bit, everybody. He might be picking it up a little bit. <sighs> so hard. So hard. Oh, my goodness. Okay. Can he do it, everybody? Can he do it? Okay. Waco represent. You better believe it. Um. Let's see. I mean, let's see. What do you think about the lights? Stefano's asking. I would say it helps a lot. Um, you know, yeah, I would say it helps for sure. But but it can also be if those lights start to get away from you, it's over. Like, 
if those lights get away from you, I'd say up here, you're kind of done. But it does, I, it absolutely helps with pacing, 100%. Um, but at the same time, it's a double-edged sword where the lights, like, if they're creeping up on you and you start to fade a little bit, that's, you know, obviously it's an incentive, like, okay, I got to pick up the pace here, but, um, I, I think if they start to get away, it's very, very difficult, very difficult. Um, okay, okay, good to see everyone. Man, he looks smooth. Yes, he does. Man. And I believe, okay, everyone, a little more research. I believe I read he's five feet, six inches. Personally, he looks a little taller to me. Bekele is five feet, five inches. Okay, the current world record holder for now. So he's my height. Bekele is my height. I'm five feet, five inches. Could somebody maybe do a little more research beyond, let's say, Wikipedia? Is Cheptegei five feet, si five feet, six inches? Eight laps to go. 62 second last lap. 62.5. Now, obviously, I know my live stream's a little delayed. I, it's like, this is YouTube. Sorry about that. Can't uh, can't fix it. Can't go back in time to... Uh, or I, can't, I should say, I can't go into the future. He does look smooth. Big stride. Thank you for doing the research. I, a deal is saying I can run 200 meters with him. Butter, Rory, butter. All day, every day. Butter, butter. You better believe it, Peter. He is butter in the bread. Okay. So, he's giving himself a little space. Looks like he's maybe two seconds under pace. Two seconds, according to uh, what I'm seeing here. So, he broke the 5,000 meter world record by two seconds. So, that's kind of interesting. Wow. Wow. Looks like his his stride is opening up. I, I can see his stride opening up. 7,200 meters, seven laps to go. Seven laps, that was 62.9. 62.9 for his last lap. He's moving to the front of the blue lights. You better believe it, Paul. You better believe it. Good question, Steve. I mean, yes, my guess is it's absolutely a Mondo track, and I don't know how recently it was updated. That's a key point. Is it an old Mondo track, or is it a new Mondo track? But I would guarantee it's a Mondo track. I actually I can't confirm that, but um, that is my guess. So we're looking like he is 5 feet 6 inches, according to a little research here. Thanks for doing the research. Okay, let's see, let's see. Um... Let's see. Yes, indeed. Two seconds under world record right now. Two seconds. Mm. Okay. Last lap was 7,600 meters. Six laps to go in my time. Man, he's flying. So much pain right now. I'd say this is the hardest point right here because with two laps to go, it's like you can taste it, even like two and a half laps to go, so about a K to go. It's like, okay, mentally, I've made it this far. I can dig this out. But right now, with six laps to go, it's like you're in that you're in that stage where it's like, oh my gosh, like I don't know if I can hold this pace for six more laps. I think this is the hardest part personally, when I'm out there, you know, with like twenty-five percent of a race to go rather than that last, let's say, ten percent. Man, unbelievable. 15 year world, or yeah, 15 years old world record. Okay, here we go. 2059, 2K to go, 2K to go. Uh huh, uh huh. Good to see everyone. Oh my goodness, oh my goodness. Yes. Oh, that's a good point, Wetsky. At this point, it's like that lactic acid. Yeah, you can feel, you can like taste that burn. Oh, it does not. It's crazy. Crazy. Oh, man. It looks like he will do it. You better believe it. I don't know. We'll see. I mean, right now he looks, I'm not going to say comfortable, but he doesn't look like he's straining to me. Um, His stride is real nice. Like, and his arm, his arm carriage is nice. 
you know, he's he's kind of strong. I don't know about you, but he's he's kind of like a strong dude. Um, I mean, he looks, you know, he looks like he's got some good upper body strength, 100%. Okay. Wow. 2202, 2202 with. So, oh my goodness. Wow. I'm sorry. I just, I'm trying to listen as well. He is flying. Yes, Mark, he is flying. Man, it looks like we might be witnessing something, something good here. I mean, he's, he's at the back of the blue lights, right? He's at the back of the blue lights. That's what it looks like for me. Wow. Here's the crazy thing, though. Bekele, as you know, had a kick. He could kick with the best of them. Like, he was, nobody was beating Bekele the last 400 meters. Like, he could just outkick so many people. Um, so, oh, man, can you imagine those two in their prime battling it out? But Chip to get Chip to guy and Bekele. Okay, here we go. Three laps to go. Three laps to go, everybody. Oh man. Oh. 63 seconds, not 62. Okay, but man. Oh my gosh. Oh man. Dig, baby, dig. Okay. Let's see, let's see. Man, oh man. Let's hear your comments, hear your predictions. Hear your predictions. Is he going to do it, everyone? Is he going to do it? Are we going to witness history tonight from Valencia, Spain? Oh man. Wow. Okay, okay. Okay, okay. Okay, he's coming down the stretch for two laps to go. Two laps to go. Almost there, almost there. I mean, those green lights are right there. Okay, come on, come on. 2407. 2407, two laps to go. 800 meters. Ooh, 61.7. 61.7 for that last lap. Oh my goodness. He's so strong. He's so strong. Okay, there you go. Thanks for the uh, thanks for the comments, everybody. Oh man, come on, come on. Prediction 2611, 2608, 2609. Let's see, let's see. Zach is saying he's got it in the bag. I mean, he's looking good. I gotta say, man, so much pain, so much pain. Okay, 500 meters, 500 meters. We're looking at 24.57. Coming through the bell lap. Coming down the home stretch. Pumping those arms. He's in the blue lights. He's near the lead of the blue lights. Go, go, go. Go, go, go. 25.10. One lap to go. 25.10. Oh, man. Come on. Kick. Kick. He's, he's, come on, kick. He's flying. He's he's he has set himself uh, himself up well, very very well. Coming down the back stretch, 300 meters to go. Pump 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 pump. 200 meters to go. He glanced at his watch. He glanced at his watch with 200 meters. He's gonna stop it for Strava. He's gonna stop it for Strava. Come on, there he goes. Oh man, he's got a dig. He's got to dig. 100 meters to go. Come on. 100 meters to go. 2602, 2603, 2604, 2605, 67. He's going to get it. 2609, 2611, 2611. Wow. There you go. Six second world record. Six second world record, everybody. Wow. Unbelievable. That was a lot. That was amazing. 2611. Oh, 1305 back to back, basically. 1305 back to back. Oh my goodness. Joshua, he's like, he's, did he stop his watch? I don't know if he stopped his watch for Strava. 
Oh my goodness. What a day. What a day. <laughs> Who guessed correct? Let us know in the chat. Who guessed correct? Oh my, my, everybody. 2611, new world record. 2611, coming down the stretch. Unbelievable. Let us know in the chat. Did you guess correctly? 2611, I think it was 0.5, roughly, roughly. Bear with me. Oh, the pain. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Oh, man. Jacob is saying a great day for running indeed. He stopped it. Okay, good, Sarah. I didn't see him stop it. I was kind of, I don't know what I was looking. I think I was looking at the clock. Thank you, Sarah, for letting us know. <laughs> we'll see it on Strava here in about an hour. Okay, good, James. Good, good, good. Jeez. Oh, man. Oh, I got to say, I kind of feel bad for Bekele losing two world records in less than two months. But here's the deal. Records are made to be broken. Records are made to be broken. I've got a feeling these two records are going to stand for a long time. 5,000 meters and now 10,000 meters. And it, I'm going to say in warm conditions, you know, I personally think 80s is very warm. Poor, oh, but Bekele, like, man, he had it for a long time. And I will just say, I think it's kind of neat Yeah, interesting. They're talking about Olympic world rec Olympic gold. I got to say, I do love like it's like Ethiopia and Kenya have dominated for decades now. It's kind of neat. I think from a long distance running perspective, uh that Uganda is making a little bit of inroads into these world records, into these championships like the cross country world championships. Uh, I think it's neat. Now, obviously, those three countries are basically right next to each other. And so Ethiopia uh, to the north, Kenya to the south, and then Uganda a little more uh, inland uh, on the continent of Africa. So I, I like the fact that there's a little bit of, um, I don't know, a little bit of competition happening between Kenya, Ethiopia, and now Uganda. Very interesting. Okay, let's jump into the chat. So cool. Let's answer some questions. Valencia's bread is buttered, says Nico. You better believe it, Nico. Oh, man, that's true. This record is going to stand for a long, long time. Um, so uh, let's see. Let's see. And yes, Eastern Africa is dominant. Very, very dominant. You know, there's a lot. They have a lot of good things going on there. With respect to training, with respect to... Oh, he's talking right now. Hold on. Let me just... Very good. He's talking to the media right now. Pretty cool. His, his Eng, English is perfect. That's His English is perfect. Oh, that's cool. He says uh, he wants people to know that track is still exciting. I love that. I agree, Joshua. Congrats, sir. So cool. Okay, who thinks he can break his own record? Um, let's see, from Cleo. Let's, I mean, I think it's going to stand a long, long time. Um, yes, he's being interviewed now for everyone that's watching. Okay. Let's see, let's see. <laughs> let's see. Oh, man, did he say that, Joseph, that he feels kind of fresh right now? And uh, thank you for all the comments. I can't get to all of them. That Nike singlet is paper thin. Yes, it is. It is for sure. Oh, man, can you imagine that singlet? That's going to be, uh, he better hold on to that one. If he signed it, that would be worth a, that'd be worth a lot of money. Hold on to that one, Joshua. Okay, I'm just looking at it. Uh, Ivan is saying, are you satisfied with his performance? He held his head up the whole race. Exactly, Ivan. Kind of like what I said with the 5,000 meter world record uh, versus the women's world record tonight at the 5,000 meter. She was looking more down at the track. So Joshua was looking was looking up more. And I love that. I think it um, it personally helps me run faster when I'm looking up versus 
looking down. When I look down, I tend to slouch a little bit, kind of like in uh, the mountain running that I do. Um, so, good, good, good. Man, yes, KJ. 13, oh, oh man, pain cave, KJ, pain cave. I can't even imagine running 1407. If I ever ran 1407, that would be I would be to the moon. I'd be over the moon. So 1307 and 1304 is uh, unbelievable. Um, let's see. James is asking. I love watching you commentate the races. Thanks, James, for tuning in. Do you think it is easier to transition from short races to longer races, or vice versa? I think from shorter races to longer races in the sense that the shorter races help with your turnover and your speed, and then you can apply that speed to the longer races. Um, so that's how I approach, like for example, everybody, a little insider information here. Um, many of you know this, the Houston Half Marathon has been canceled in January. I think I found a backup, okay? Now, obviously we don't know what's gonna happen any race could be canceled at this point anywhere in the world. Uh, but I'm going to register, I believe, tomorrow for this half marathon. So, James, to answer your question, I'm going to use the 5K to get ready for a 10K and the 10K to get ready for my half marathon in, I'll just say, it is in January still. So I'm going to announce, I think in two days from now, which half marathon I plan to race in 2021 okay thank you james great question i believe he was in the dragonflies right everybody the the dragonflies can maybe somebody uh j money 8811 here in the studio thanks for tuning in thanks stevie for tuning in oh my goodness i appreciate you <laughs> i appreciate don't tell the commentary i appreciate you muting the original folks and um and listening to me uh ran talk here in the studio Okay, okay. Houston is canceled. Yes, Houston is canceled. Yes, he did, Neil. Yes, he did. Okay. Oh, I'm trying, George. I mean, here's a here's the deal. Obviously, I would love to watch. Um, and I know my live stream was a little delayed compared to the actual live stream, but we do what we can do. And I would love to get better and better at doing this, you know, uh, commentating other races as well we'll probably probably be doing this at some point down the road um let's see let's see oh my goodness uh-huh head up pump arms quick feet you better believe it okay yes he did brother john yes he did so he ran 14 uh sorry uh 26 uh 11 right everybody 26 11 so let's see thank you nico i could use a little bit out here i could use a little bit um let's see let's see let's see i'm just look there's so many comments and i can't answer all of them or so many questions uh what are your impressions on the sketchers go run razor elite so let's see bill is asking that uh where is it where is it i'll just answer this real quick <laughs> he's got a crown on so here's the deal um sketchers razor elite 4.9 ounces in my size incredibly lightweight very lightweight shoe um but the stack height is not very high bill i foresee that this shoe is going to be better suited for a 10k maybe half marathon unlikely i would race in this shoe for the marathon okay those are my initial thoughts bill and um yeah but i will be talking more about this shoe next week good question bill okay moving on here um let's see let's see uh let's see let's see pat uh and talking about ankle racing socks let's see oh my i uh yes i like ankle socks personally i really do uh, have I tried Nikes? I'm not, I haven't tried Nike ankle socks since uh, college. So, okay. Good to be, good to see everybody. Um, so let's see. Gosh. Yes. He was in the dragonflies. I do believe, uh, according to Stefan and others, that's what I've read thus far. Let me just pull this back up here real quick. So. Um, uh, 
So I talked about this earlier. I talked about this earlier. Um, I was not Jonathan uh, in the lottery for the Azores. So I won't be going to Portugal to race. Unfortunately, I'm on a break right now. And that is that. Yeah, um, it's too bad. But uh, that is the deal. You know, but I'm actually excited because it gives me an opportunity to rest and to because it's been a big year. A lot of vertical gain up in the mountains. Uh, Pikes Peak was hard. You know, I trained really hard for Pikes Peak and took a little bit of time off out after Pikes Peak. But at the end of the day, um, I usually like after a peak race, which that's what Pikes Peak was. I like to take 10 days off uh, and then sometimes 14 days off like I'm going to do for this break right now. So anyway, it allows me, Jonathan, and again, I'll, I'll announce the half marathon in a vlog in a couple days. It allows me to really reset the body and then work on speed moving forward into 2021 so that I can get faster on the, at the uh, road marathon specifically. So good question. Okay. AO, I talked about this uh, during the live stream. Maybe you didn't hear it. Um, I think the lights definitely helped, um, but, you know, I don't think, I think they could also be mentally um, very difficult with respect to if you lose the lights, like the lights are starting to get ahead of you. I think that could be very mentally defeating. So as far as staying on pace, I think they absolutely helped. Yeah, 100%. Um, let's see, let's see. Uh-huh. Oh my goodness. Age only a number. Wow, these record-breaking races are a big inspiration to this older runner. I'm still a newbie, currently training for the Pumpkin Pie 5K. That's awesome. We will see you there at the Pumpkin Pie 5K. You better believe it. So True Love is training. We're going to give you an update. You are welcome. You are welcome. Thanks for being here. Hazim90. Um, yes, dragonflies. Indeed, indeed. Thanks, Nico. Um, okay. Well, any other questions? I'll hang out for about five more minutes, uh, five, maybe, maybe 10 more minutes. And then, um, and then I'm going to call it because, um, yeah, I got a lot. I got, I got to go film the vlog for all of you for tomorrow. Okay. Let's see. Um, yes, I do believe we will. So I love the broadcast and the great commentary. Are we doing this again for the half marathon world record attempt? Yes, indeed. Um, so stay tuned for announcements on that. Thanks for mentioning it. Absolutely. Thanks for being here. Google bought me. Um, let's see. Let's see. Oh, man. So many comments. Um, oh, 100%. Jay, 100%. Walking, um, stretching, foam rolling and sleeping. <laughs> That's what I'm doing, Jay. Those four things and uh, enjoying some extra chocolate as well. You better believe it. Okay. What an awesome day. You better believe it. Yes, Ian. There's the splits right there for those that didn't see. Thank you, Ian, for putting those on the screen. So uh, 2611, Brendan, 2611. Oh, man. So good to see everyone. 2611 says, Danny, Mm, good evening, DGR community. Dan Runs. Thanks for tuning in from the UK. Appreciate you, sir, for being here. Dan Runs has his own running YouTube channel. You can go check him out. Uh, what can us mere mortals learn from Chip to Guys training? Oh, Nathan, I love it. Consistency, patience. I'm telling you, Nathan, if you go, Nathan, if you go and look at Joshua's progression from 2014 to 2020 okay you look at his progression in his 5k and 10k times it's just doom one step after another okay i wish i could pull it up on screen on the screen right now but i'll let you go look it up like his progression has been a game of patience it's taken him six years of really hard racing to get to this point um, and so he would have been 18. Okay. So again, for all the young, young guys out there, like in ladies, it just takes time to develop your aerobic system. It just doesn't happen like that. So that would be my, uh, my little pull away from Chepta guys training. Go look at his PRs and his personal best over the last six years. 
it's just taken a lot of patience to get to this point. So good, good question. I love it. Oh, super chat. Oh my goodness. Adam, you are amazing. Oh, Adam, you don't have to do that. Thank you, Adam, for that super chat. Holy smokes. Take true love out to breakfast or something and let her know to keep it up. Her journey has helped inspire me to get back in and get after it. Adam, you're amazing. And I will definitely take true love out to breakfast. Guess what, Adam? The vlog publishing tomorrow is going to be an update from true love and it's good, good stuff. So, oh man, so good. Thank you, Adam. You are amazing. Oh man. Two world records. Absolutely. Maria is asking Maria. Well, I'll tell you all right now. She is running. Okay. And she's not out of the woods yet with respect to her Achilles tendon injury. And it's not, I'm not even, it's not an injury. It's more of a niggle. Uh, but she is running right now. So thank you, Maria, for asking, for being concerned. And she's still going, but it's just a game of patience right now with her Achilles tendon. So good. Uh, Peter's asking, what would be your half marathon race strategy? Oh, man, Peter. Oh, you put me on the spot, Peter. Here's the deal, Peter. I have not raced a ton of half marathons. Uh, so... Oh, Peter. So I think, Peter, I would go out the first, let's say, 3K, the first two miles, you know, I'm not going to say ahead of pace, but um, pretty, no, I am going to say ahead of pace. So the first 3K, a little bit ahead of pace, because mentally for me, Peter, if I have a goal time for a race, I never want to, You for me mentally, I never want to get behind, especially early in a race, behind that goal pace. Because I personally think it's difficult to make up time later in the race when you're hurting. So, Peter, I like to get out a little a little fast, not too much, but a little fast, and then settle in from, you know, two miles or 3K to, um, to basically, you know, uh, mile eight or nine and then reassess. And so the next, let's say 10 K the next eight, yeah, next six miles and then start to figure out, okay, how am I feeling? How's everybody doing around me? Like the group that I'm running with. And that's one of the reasons I am registering for this particular half marathon, which I will announce in a couple days, excuse me. Um, and this listen to everybody's breathing and figure out, okay, can we make a push this last five K or do we need, do I personally just need to sit at this pace for another 3K and then kick it in the last 2K as, as best as I can? So anyway, that's kind of my approach to uh, racing. Good question from Peter. Um, Agnus Day, thanks for being here. Okay, let's see, let's see. Oh man, thanks for being here. Oh yeah, I appreciate you, sir, tuning in. What is the time in Denver? It's about 2.43 p.m. in the afternoon. Okay, I'm just trying to find any questions. Oh, man. Okay. Mm -mm -mm. Yay for true love. Thanks for tuning in. True love is so inspiring. Yes, she is. I am a Ugandan. We are proud of you, brother. That's awesome. Thanks for tuning in. Thanks for checking out the YouTube. Oh, I should have mentioned this earlier. If you're new to the channel, if you're ending up on this live stream because of Joshua Cheptegei, who just set the world record in the 10,000 meters. Uh, this is a daily running vlog. So I publish a new running vlog every morning at 5 a.m. my time, Mountain Standard Time. This morning was the Hoka Rocket X first impressions. That's right. This, oh, sorry about that. This shoe right here. So, and then I will publish another vlog tomorrow morning. For those that have been on the channel a long time, you know the drill, but welcome to the channel. I appreciate you tuning in. And yeah, so, 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 Adrian is asking, what has been the treatment plan for true love? So gentle stretching, very gentle stretching um, on the slant board, uh, doing some strengthening exercises on a step in a, actually in the front of our house. So just some gentle calf raises, not nothing intense. And then massaging, okay, that, that entire uh, back kinetic chain. So the soleus area, the calf, uh, so massaging that. And then uh, what else have we, we been doing? Just a little bit of ice, not too much, but a little bit of ice um, just to help bring the swelling down in that area. So good question, Adrian. And then reducing her training, of course, as 
well. So let's see, let's see. Um, mm -mm -mm. So many good questions. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Landon is asking, any tips for stomach issues mid-run? Landon, you may just want to reassess what you're eating before you go run. That would be my piece of advice. Um, the reason, everybody, I eat bobo bars before I go run, in the morning especially, is because they sit in my stomach really, really well. I never have stomach issues when I eat bobo bars. That's why I eat them. Just so, like, I, I, I like the taste of bobo bars, but the real reason I eat them is because I don't want stomach issues when I'm out running. So, yes, Carol, true love is Bridget. Her real name is Bridget, just so everybody knows. Um, and it's spelled like that. You nailed it, Carol. Good job. Uh-huh. Aaron, go get it out there. Marathon coming on Sunday. Um, there's a marathon in the Bahamas in January. That sounds pretty amazing. Is there a half marathon? Because I'm a little more, uh, I'm, I want to run a half marathon in January. So maybe, uh, send me a link to that. I will check it out a hundred percent. Okay. So good. Oh my goodness. So, so good. Just waiting for Joshua Chip to guy to post it on Strava. Because if it ain't on Strava, it doesn't count, says Ben. That is hilarious. I don't I do not follow Joshua on Strava, but maybe I should. That is so funny. I just love the fact that we can all kind of cheer each other on on Strava, give each other kudos. So it's uh that is funny, Ben. Very, very funny. Yeah, I like it. I like it. <laughs> um when is the Andes night, Ivan? Uh, I don't know. We'll have to get to Andes at some point. Um, age only a number. You know, usually I eat it. I can honestly eat it right before I run and my stomach will be fine. Usually it's about 45 minutes, 30 to 45 minutes before. So yeah, good question. But I can basically eat it right before and I won't have any issues. Um, so yeah, I like, I like the, you know, coffee in the morning. And a bobo. And a bobo. Okay. Uh, do you, oh, that's what... Do you think Josh is going to Andy's tonight? He should. Joshua, come to Colorado. I'll take you out to Andy's 100%. Okay. Nice, Tommy. Go get it. This weekend, he's running a marathon. Go get it, buddy. That's awesome. So, so good. Okay. I think that's it. We could hang out forever and ever here in the studio. I got to go inside and butter the bread great work everyone out there keep chasing down those dreams i'm on a running break and um we'll just keep publishing here from the studio okay all right you guys are the best okay as i always say seek beauty work hard and love each other joshua chip to guy 26 11 new world record crazy all right see you tomorrow <laughs>